let's talk about reliability engineering. You know, what are the main res roles and responsibilities of a reliability engineer, the day-to-day -day responsibilities for this role? The biggest important thing, and uh, I think I heard Bob Latino say this, he's a, a champion in reliability uh, for everybody that doesn't know, but he, he said, if you're a reliability engineer, you shouldn't be dealing with the urgent. You should be dealing with the important, non-urgent responsibilities. They're obviously very important, but none of your work should really be involved in the day-to-day -day outside of, you know, presentations and things like that. Day-to-day -day maintenance should be left to maintenance engineers and maintenance technicians, and reliability should focus their day-to-day -day on long-term analysis, understanding an asset life cycle, um, the failure modes and effects, and, and how things fail, and understanding those concepts rather than trying to solve the current downs and the current failures of today. How does a reliability engineer typically interact with, you know, the the day-to-day -day department? Because we know that those two are closely tied to one another. Most reliability team members are part of the maintenance department, myself included. Really what you have to do is you have to try and distance yourself from that day-to-day, -day, but you also need to maintain being approachable and personable and things like that. So you still need to be somewhat in the day-to-day -day and talking to people and understanding what's going on because the people that are in that day-to-day -day maintenance and working on the current stuff, they're the ones that actually really know how to solve your issues. The information you get, you'll have to distill it down into maybe prove it with an analysis or something, but they generally have the information that you need to start solving your problems. So you wanna make sure you keep that relationship there um, and not just hold up in an office. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Again, they're they're so closely tied to one another. But again, that reliability engineer is really focused on the long term asset life cycle versus you know the maintenance department is focused on the today, this week, this month, 